Thomas Bernhard, born Nicholas Thomas Bernhard, February 9, 1931, February 12, 1989, was an Austrian novelist, playwright and poet. Bernhard, whose body of work has been called the most significant literary achievement since World War II, is widely considered to be one of the most important German-speaking authors of the post-war era. Life Thomas Bernhard was born in 1931 in Heerlen, Netherlands, where, at the time, his mother Hertha Bernhard worked as a maid. Since the autumn of 1931, he lived with his grandparents in Vienna until his mother, who had married since, moved him, in 1937, to Traunstein, Bavaria. Bernhard's natural father Alois Zuckerstatter died in Berlin from gas poisoning in an assumed suicide, Thomas had never met him. Bernhard's grandfather, the author Johannes Frombichler, pushed for an autistic education for the boy, including musical instruction. Bernhard went to elementary school in Seekirchen and later attended various schools in Salzburg including the Johann Adam which he left in 1947 to start an apprenticeship with a grocer. Bernhard's Lebensmens, a predominantly Austrian term, which was coined by Bernhard himself and which refers to the most important person in one's life, was Hedwig Stavian Isaac. 1894 to 1984, a woman more than 37 years his senior, whom he cared for alone in her dying days and whom he had met in 1950, the year of his mother's death and one year after the death of his beloved grandfather. Stavian Isaac was the major support in Bernhard's life and greatly furthered his literary career. The extent or nature of his relationships with women is obscure. Thomas Bernhard's public persona was asexual. Suffering throughout his youth from an intractable lung disease, tuberculosis, Bernhard spent the years 1949-1951 at the Sanatorium Grafenhof, in St. Vied in Pange. He trained as an actor at the Mozartum in Salzburg, 1955-1957 and was always profoundly interested in music. His lung condition, however, made a career as a singer impossible. After that he began to work briefly as a journalist, mainly as a crime reporter, and then became a full-time writer. Bernhard died in 1989 in Gmunden, Upper Austria. His attractive house in Alsdorf Obernal to where he had moved in 1965 is now a museum and center for the study and performance of Bernhard's work. In his will, which aroused great controversy on publication, Bernhard prohibited any new stagings of his plays and publication of his unpublished work in Austria, however, this was annulled by his heir in 1999. His death was announced only after his funeral. Work, often criticized in Austria as a nestbsmetzer, one who dirties his own nest, for his critical views, Bernhard was highly acclaimed abroad. Nevertheless, while criticized for political reasons by some, he was, during his lifetime, also highly acclaimed in Austria, winning a number of major awards and was seen by many as the preeminent writer of the time. His work is most influenced by the feeling of being abandoned, in his childhood and youth, and by his incurable illness, which caused him to see death as the ultimate essence of existence. His work typically features loner's monologues explaining, to a rather silent listener, his views on the state of the world often with reference to a concrete situation. This is true for his plays as well as for his prose, where the monologues are then reported second-hand by the listener. His main protagonists, often scholars or, as he calls them, Geistsmensen, 
denounce everything that matters to the Austrian in contumacy filled tirades against the stupid populace. He also attacks the state, often called Catholic National Socialist, generally respected institutions such as Vienna's Burg Theater, and much loved artists. His work also continually deals with the isolation and self destruction of people striving for an unreachable perfection since this same perfection would mean stagnancy and therefore death. Anti-Catholic rhetoric is not uncommon. S. Estales Lascherlich, when man and dent ha dent, everything is ridiculous, when one thinks of death, was his comment when he received a minor Austrian national award in 1968, which resulted in one of the many public scandals he caused over the years and which became part of his fame. His novel Holes Fallen, 1984, for instance, could not be published for years due to a defamation claim by a former friend. Many of his plays, above all held in Platz, 1988 were met with criticism from many Austrians who claim they sullied Austria's reputation. One of the more controversial lines called Austria a brutal and stupid nation. A mindless, cultureless sewer which spreads its penetrating stench all over Europe. Heldenplatz, as well as the other plays Bernhard wrote in these years, were staged at Vienna's famous Berg Theater by the controversial director Klausmann. Even in death Bernhard caused disturbance by his, as he supposedly called it, posthumous literary immigration, by disallowing all publication and stagings of his work within Austria's borders. The International Thomas Bernhard Foundation, established by his executor and half-brother Dr. Peter Fabgen, has subsequently made exceptions although the German firm of Suakamp remains his principal publisher. The correspondence between Bernhard and his publisher Siegfried unsailed from 1961 to 1989, about 500 letters, was published in December 2009 at Suakamp Verlag, Germany.